What's up everyone? Thanks so much for tuning in for an extra special episode of Wildly Unprepared with former Miss USA, Nia Sanchez. Hello. Ever since going on from winning the Miss USA pageant, Nia then competed in Miss Universe and placed a first runner up. Yes, so Super impressive. <laughs> all around <laughs> and now she's an amazing self-defense teacher and TV host so Nia's gonna kick my butt today and teach me a little bit about self-defense because Wildly Unprepared is a show where I take you through things that you absolutely need to know and self-defense is a must all right let's do this okay so first things first is a wrist release that is something that can be a very like not scary situation some guy just coming up and grabbing you or it could be really dangerous if someone's trying to drag you to a secluded place Sure. So, wrist release is something that everyone should know. Um, if I were to just grab you, what would you do to get away? I don't know, like karate chop your arm or something? Okay, <laughs> but if I'm really strong and like maybe I'm used to like getting hit, but I don't even know, honestly. Like, okay. Nothing. Nothing. I have you, nothing. No response here. Yeah. Okay, so grab me. So there's four fingers here and one thumb here. So you're always going to skate towards the thumb. You're not going to pull away, you're not going to pull down. There's four fingers here. So pulling isn't really going to do anything. You want to think of the word pry. So you're going to pry your arm out. I'm going to put my elbow towards your forearm. Okay, pull, pull really tight as tight as you can. And so you're just going to pry out. So that's if, and that looks really easy. It should like come on. It didn't feel easy. I thought she was going to break my wrist. <laughs> so if it's some like random situation in like a club, you just think escape towards the thumb. And so you just rotate towards the thumb. So that's a rotate. I always think escape towards the thumb. It's like so simple, but still so crazy. Right. So let me try with you. So grab your hand. <laughs> yes. Your yeah. own hand. Okay. There you go. And don't pull backwards. Think about touching your elbow to right. Yeah. Yay! Okay, now I'm gonna grab really hard. Okay. In real life, the bad guys are gonna go, Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. It's not gonna happen like that. So I'm gonna grab really hard. Do it. Go for it. Think elbow to forearm, not pulling away, but crying out. Okay, go. Yeah! Good job. I feel so accomplished. Easy enough, right? Okay, so the thing about the self defense and escape techniques is you don't wanna have to use all your muscles because the guy's gonna be stronger than you, period. You wanna think about how you can use your body against their body with as little effort as possible. Okay. And if you're putting your elbow towards their thumb, it's just gonna pry off sure. naturally. So sure. it's more of an easy technique than just like, how can I get away from right. you? Like, Escape towards the thumb, you guys. Yes. Write that down, don't forget. One thing that you'll never do, so you can only do one. Just remember your technique, get away. Yep, yeah, now you're not gonna just turn and run because I can grab you instantly. So you always create space okay. before you turn your back. You don't give your back instantly to the bad guy. It's so crazy because these are like simple things that you should think of, but right. you don't think of that. You never in my mind would I be like, oh. I feel like, ah. Exactly. And we don't think of them because so many of us have never learned these things. Yeah. And it's funny, I feel like something like this should be taught in high school. That's should be taught right. even in middle school mm -hmm. because I, I've you know, been through the publicity of being Miss USA and I have a lot of people saying you shouldn't have to teach self defense. Men should just not leave or be aggressive or whatever it is. Which is true. But which is 100 true, but the reality of the world that we live in is that does happen. Yeah. First, we want to prevent and be aware. And God forbid that happens, we want to be able to defend ourselves. Absolutely. Why not put the power into our hands? I like that. That kind of thing is so important, right. I think. Until we get it as like a high school curriculum. Until then, we're going to push for that. Right. We'll teach here. You guys watch this video. Okay. Technique number two is a chokehold escape. Scary, right? Yes. You see my eyes? I was like, oh, she can chokehold. Yeah. Like that. I mean, that's real life. Like, that's what that's someone would do. And you have between six to 12 seconds before you black out. And usually within a few minutes, you could die. That's not all the time. No, it's, so you have to react quickly. You can't be thinking like, hold on, what do I do again? So anything that I share today or if you come to my class, it's something that needs to be practiced. Mm -hmm. And it can't be like, oh, hold on. What did Nia say to do? Right, like we were saying, you're tired right. of time to be like, okay, do your next step. Right, no, it's <laughs> not gonna happen. So you, it has to be something that is a reaction mm -hmm. instead of a thought process. Okay. Um, so, grab my neck. Like, <laughs> that was so weird, grab my neck. Okay, so you're being really gentle right now, that's okay to show the technique, but like I was practicing this over the weekend and you do have to like be more aggressive. This is crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> it's actually way easier than you think. Okay, okay. so like put a little pressure. Okay. There we go. I feel so bad. <laughs> it's totally fine, so ready? Oh, see, she makes it look so hold, easy. Hold, hold, hold tight, like, okay. yeah, okay, see, so she's doing it right. I'm sorry. Okay, so what you're gonna do, Actually, a little bit so I can explain. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna duck your head down, 
through the arms, and then you're gonna escape out. You can do it with pressure applied. So if you're practicing at home, obviously start gentle to like not hurt your partner, whoever you're practicing with, and then warm up, I guess is maybe the right word, <laughs> the aggression or the tightness so that you can practice and know how it really feels. Yeah, but if you're really like soft and gentle with the person you're practicing with and yourself, you're not going to know how it feels to actually try to achieve. Sure, and you're like, can I get this real thing? Exactly. Like you. Okay. So if you practice, slowly but surely progressing to something a little bit stronger, sure. then you'll actually know how it really feels and you won't panic as much in the moment if for some reason that's happening. Sure. So, um, have you ever blacked out? No, 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 I haven't, but so when you are practicing, like say you're intentionally putting someone in a choke hold, you are supposed to tap when like the pressure is like, ah! <laughs> well, that's the thing is people sometimes don't tap and you just keep going because you're like, oh, it's not working. Oh that's what's crazy. You have to tap. Okay. The tap thing is important. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right, exactly. Okay, okay. so choke hold. Okay. So your hands are up because when you come back up, you're gonna always have your hands to like prevent it to guard. Okay. Or we're going down and up. And you're ready. And you're ready. And then you create space okay. before running away. I'm never gonna just immediately give the bad guy my back. Okay. It's okay. always uh, create some space and let go. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm gonna hold you kind of tight. Okay. Yeah, she's she's not joking. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I love so, okay. Head down. Head down. Now? Yes, now. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. It's not as hard. I don't think you're panicking. Okay. Right now? Are you sure? Right now? Okay. And, okay. I'm, and I'm applying pressure. I was just doing it gently to her. I could have maybe applied a little bit more pressure, but I didn't want to scare her the first time around. My eyes. Yeah. Because like, what? Yeah. More pressure. Yeah. Totally. But it's really effective, and you want the thing is you don't want here. Show me. I'm so weird. <laughs> but you don't want to do this. And like try, and you're bumping into their hand like that. If they're really holding tight, that's not gonna work. So your head has to go down, around, okay. and then create space. Uh, if you look, I mean, you can't quite can't see, but her neck is red. Like I was, I was holding. It's a real deal, you guys. We're doing it. And he's not playing around. Not playing around. Choke hold here. Okay. What you're gonna do to break the grip? I'm gonna do it on this side so you guys can see. Your arm is gonna shoot straight oh. up, move down, oh. and then elbow to the face before breaking the grip and going. Yeah, on. that was more fun. It's more fun. <laughs> you get to also hit the guy. I mean, that's just a win-win scenario. Yeah, exactly. And the elbow to the face is really painful. So again, okay. So your arm is gonna go on the inside. You'll hit whichever side you choose. Straight up. Down to break the grip, elbow right this, and I'm even really thinking about this hand, but you'll break the grip and step. Wow, okay. Okay, go. Are you ready? No. <laughs> okay. okay, so pick a side. So go up, yeah. Down. Yeah. Elbow, elbow to my face. Okay. Yeah. Break. Break. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but if you don't feel like you're doing that, can't you create space? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sir, I did it. <laughs> was that good or was that good? Be serious, you guys. Don't be like. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try it again. All right, I'm giving you a little more grip, so all the way up, shoot it up far. Yes, yes. Oh, I forgot my face. Yes. Up, down, elbow, elbow break. break. Breaking the elbow. Yeah, okay. the elbow's the funnest part. So those are two escapes from a chokehold. Okay. There's multiple ways to escape a chokehold. I feel like those are the two most effective ways. Absolutely. So the point of the story is you wanna get away. We're not gonna, I always have men ask me, oh, so you could box me, you could fight me? No, I will never stand there and throw blows with a six foot two man, but I do know how to break your knee, pull out your eyes, break your elbow, and escape. You okay. know, like this so bad. It's the most important thing right here. Okay, technique number three. Three and a half, four, since we have two earlier. Yeah, we have both. Yes. So this one is from the ground. There are multiple situations you could be in a ground. We're gonna go over one today. Okay. Um, majority of fights if you don't get that quick escape, mm -hmm. will go to the ground chart. So it's really important to know how to get out of that. Mm -hmm. um, the one we're gonna practice today is if you are, someone was mounting you, so that means that you're sitting on your hips, not between your legs. So if they're sitting on your hips, they could be choking you, they could be punching you, it could be all kinds of bad things. Um, the position you never want to be in, if you can prevent it, is being on the ground. But if you get there, you want to know what to do. Sure. Um, I'm gonna explain the technique piece by piece. I'm gonna do it to you first. If you yes. don't know what's coming, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we'll explain it. So okay. I'm gonna go into it and then we'll explain it move by move. And I'll let you try it out on me. Let's do it. Okay, it's not awkward at all. 
Get in the law for everybody, you know. Mount's position. <laughs> Being realistic. Here. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not so you're the bad guy. guy. Am I joking you? You can be okay. joking. <laughs> Conversation. Am I joking you? All right. Okay, so what you're gonna do from a choke position is you're gonna lock in their arm to your arm, okay? So it's either you pull down here so you're locking in or you grab them here. You're gonna lock the foot right here and then get ready, I'm gonna roll you. Okay, <laughs> just giving you a little prevention. So you're gonna start rolling onto your shoulder. Okay, okay ready? And roll. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So you're here. If they might come up to punch you, you're gonna hold down the wrist or the arms with your wrist. You would strike and then you would get away. I mean, I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> when it comes to like locking them in, you really want to lock that elbow in because the attacker, like, why is this person grabbing me and trying to pull away? So if you have the back of the elbow, you're going to prevent that from happening. Well, so smart. So, okay. you are the victim. Is that happening? I'm the bad guy. I'm a little bit bigger. <laughs> you can throw me. All right, so. Hands are here in a lock position. This one is gonna go under and grab my hand, and this one's gonna come behind my elbow. Because there we go. So now hold on tight. There we go. See that? Her whole body. She's so much stronger than me. This is really working. She's locked on. Good job. You're gonna lock this foot. Oh, this is another thing I was saying. Don't lock my foot. Now, if she tried to throw your hips up a little bit, she tried, I could put my foot out, and then I wanna go over. Okay, so lock my foot. There you go. Now throw, hips up, and roll me. Hips up. <laughs> there you go. And good job. Yeah, so if I could like I could punch you if you grab your hair. So you want to lock my okay. hands down okay. and then strike and then and then I'm out. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Um, one more thing that I think is important to say when it comes to any type of ground escape techniques is maybe you're trying to get away and you can't and they're locked on really tight. Maybe their arms aren't around your neck anymore and they're locked onto your body where you might not be able to roll them. Right. There's such thing as a false surrender. It's essentially, think about someone like holding on really tight because whatever is underneath them, whether it be like you're holding on to like a cute kitty that's like trying to get away and you don't want them to, or whatever it is, when they relax, then you relax. Mm -hmm. So if you say, I'll do whatever you want, I'm right. Right. Like you just, if you're relaxing and you're surrendering, then they relax and that's the moment that you use those techniques. Right, okay. and that's a tactic. Exactly, that's the tactic that you may need to use. Okay. So you got three and a half key techniques. So what are the three we did? We did the wrist release. Wrist release, the choke hold. Yeah, then wrist release is escape towards the thumb. That's what you want to remember no matter what type of wrist grab it is. The choke hold is where you duck your head and then you create space. Right. Or you go up, down, elbow, break the ground. That's okay. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun one. And then when you're on the ground, if you're on your back and you have someone mounted, you're going to lock all one side in, and then you're gonna thrust your hips, roll over, strike, and then get away. Okay? Um, Amazing. I feel like those are the most important things. And like I was telling Mia when we were on a little break, I was like, some of these are like super easy, but they're doable. Yeah, anybody can learn how to do these. Absolutely. So watch this video, rewind it, play it slowly. You might not be scared, that's the most important thing. Absolutely. And then know what to do in case something actually does happen. Absolutely, the most important is to practice, like you said, mm -hmm. because like we were talking about, if you go, oh, hold on, what do I do next? It's not gonna work. You have to have it as a reflex. Of yeah, absolutely. How long did it take you to get it as a reflex? I feel like it just takes, I don't know if there's an exact number, uh, but I feel like it definitely takes practicing over and over again. So it could be two or three weeks with your boyfriend, your dad, your uncle, whoever is in your house that's stronger than you sure. because you want to practice with someone strong. Sure. And just every day doing a new technique mm -hmm. with them. Hey, grab my hand. Grab my hand when I'm not prepared. Yeah, my dad. Oh my gosh. He's like ex-military, he worked in a prison, oh. he's a six degree black belt. Uh, so he would like, as like a teenager, he would come up to me and he'd grab my arm with all his strength, like how do you get out? And I'm like, oh, leave me alone. Yeah, I'm just trying to do my whole party. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but those things that you do in that real life sure. situation. So I'm like, I can't feel my hands, but this is how I get out. <laughs> so, you know, practice people in your life and it really is effective mm -hmm. and doable, like you said. Yeah. So you know the technique. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Honestly, like super cool to learn. I've always wanted to learn self defense, but just never taken the time, it's which important. is stupid. And you guys need to be not like me. Learn these things. Be prepared. Be ready. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think she's literally like the real life Cindy and Miss Congeniality. Yeah. Cool woman ever. Bye guys. I'll see you guys here next time. Um, wildly over.